up everybody we're back we're back for another review this time we're doing a two episode review we're doing episode two and episode three so let's get started episode two was awesome so we fi- we figure out that uh miguel is o- awake and the first thing that he's asking for is uh johnny but one cool thing about episode two also is that um we get a glimpse into um john crease's life so it takes us back to 1965 and we get to see young john crease and how he got to be how he is so we see that he's a server in a diner and he gets uh picked on by this bully and the bully's girlfriend um john crease actually likes so we're, we're getting little glimpses of how john crease became john crease now um at the end of the last episode we saw that johnny and daniel were looking uh to find robbie so they have the gps for the van and they're going to use it to find robbie but they can't find him um one of the best things about uh cobra kai is the interaction between johnny and daniel i love when they have episodes just them together because i feel like they could really be best friends if they would just like let their little teenage squabble or their little uh uh rivalry rivalry just kind of like uh uh go away because i feel like they're the same um type of person but they're just you know two sides of the same coin like i said before um so they go actually to uh visit robbie's mom and she's in a uh rehab center which is pretty uh cool of daniel because daniel i think daniel's the one that uh put her in there to get get her some help because uh you know she's kind of a mess so yeah they go see her and she tells them that he used to run with these two guys the two guys that uh daniel beat up in season in season one or season two i can't remember but on the beach and um and uh so they go see him and they kind of have this like good co- good cop bad cop thing they even mention it uh in a, in a scene later on where daniel's trying to be you know respectful trying to get information and then you got johnny over here just slapping the shit out of these two guys so i think it's freaking hilarious and um i think that uh their dynamic is just really cool because like i said they're they're the, the same type of person um but they kind of they they follow the van because they see the van at a gas station and they follow it to this chop shop and it goes into this whole thing where they're uh they go into the chop shop and then they have to fight all these uh, all these like mechanics and people that work at the chop shop so it's johnny and daniel fighting like six or seven guys and they kick their ass they literally kick their ass to the point where johnny is trying to get information from the guy that stole the van and he is about to pretty it looks like he's about to kill him so daniel's pissed off so they go separate ways and uh what ends up happening is that daniel gets a call from uh robbie's mom and says that robbie is there so he goes to uh meet up with robbie tells him that he's sorry that he failed him and uh what ends up happening is that daniel had called the police or uh the juvie uh and they you know he's turning him he's turning robbie in you know try to help him and like you know lessen the sentence but obviously robbie doesn't see it like that we do see an interaction between uh johnny and uh, miguel because miguel's finally up and the first thing that he's asking for is uh where's where's uh where's johnny like he's wondering where johnny is he's not, not aware that um his mom kind of just made sure that he didn't go see him so he had to sneak in again but uh yeah it's it's such an amazing um it's an amazing uh dynamic that they have but he ends up telling johnny like hey you know i showed i showed uh robbie mercy and now look at me what why why did this happen and johnny's like i don't know i don't know and you know that just kind of ticks off miguel and he's just like get out he's pissed off (laughs) and he's at the end of his rope he's just like you know what um he trusted him and uh he doesn't know where johnny's headspace is at so i thought that was pretty sad because you know i really love the miguel and um johnny relationship it's like a really good father and son relationship i'm not too keen (laughs) i'm not too keen on robbie's character um i think that the, the story needs to uh, they need to do a lot more with his story and it's it's just uh kind of hard to see uh where the story is going with him because it they're not really 
focusing too much on him. It's more of Miguel, Miguel and Johnny than Robbie and Johnny. So hopefully season four or later seasons we get to see what happens there. So that's pretty much where season, um, where episode two ends up. So leading into episode, leading into episode uh, four, um, Johnny is just you know uh, a a mess. He goes over to one of his old former Cobra Kai uh, buddies over, and he's a a pastor or a priest. I can't remember. And um, he's actually the one that bailed out um, Johnny before. And he's just asking for help, and he he wants to help. Uh, Miguel get the surgery and get back on his feet, even though, you know, they, they had their, their differences, and it's, it's sad to see Johnny back to where he started in season one, and it's, like, from the looks of it, it looks like he's not gonna, he's not going anywhere. On the other side, um, Sam, uh, has set up a, a car wash for Miguel to, you know, help pay for his, help pay for his surgery, and Cobra Kai passes by and they see them doing the car wash and they're pissed off because they feel like they're using him as a poster boy to do like uh, charity work and they you know Miguel is technically Cobra Kai so it should be Cobra Kai that should be doing this but it's uh, Miyagi-Do that's doing this so they're kind of ticked off and they kind of just like space out and do their own thing. Going to uh, Daniel and uh, his dealership uh, Cole comes over and he tells him, you know what, let me let me buy your dealership. And there's there's some animosity to- towards Cole, and uh, Manoush uh, actually works for Cole now since uh, LaRusso uh, kind of neglected him last season. And he wants to buy the dealership, but uh, Manoush tells, tells uh, Daniel's cousin that they are striking up a deal with the Japanese company to shut Daniel out so he won't be able to get um, Japanese cars anymore. So that's this whole thing, and he uh, he's about to sign away his dealership, and he says no, and that he has to take a trip to uh, Japan to, you know, remedy this, because during this whole time with, with Cobra Kai, Daniel has been neglecting his own dealership and neglecting his, you know, his livelihood, really, and the whole incident at the school kind of like took a toll and um affected the image of LaRusso Motor LaRusso Motors and you know it gave gave left Japan with like this bad taste in the mouth so there's that as this whole thing and then it, it it just really goes down to Johnny who's also trying to make a lot of money try to help um Miguel and his family by going back to the pawn shop he's trying to apply for jobs but he's neglecting to um you know tell them about his criminal history so it, there's that that whole thing and um it goes it goes it goes back and forth and really johnny's just in the shithole and he can't figure out how to make any money he's trying to sell stuff so as to resort to uh, uh going to his stepdad and trying to ask him for money and his stepdad's like no you know what i'm done helping you out i'm done with all this shit and it, it and it's crazy um and then we see sam go to uh visit Miguel in the hospital and you know see how things are going and uh they do little cutbacks and cut scenes to um Miguel and Sam so we're gonna we're there's signs that Miguel and Sam might get back together but um as they're about to just you know uh reconnect and become friends again uh Hawk comes in and Hawk's pissed off at Sam saying you know this is your fault this is Miyagi-Do's fault that Miguel's in the hospital and he's in in a in you know, in the hospital bed, not and not walking, and there's this whole back and forth between them, and it's freaking crazy. Now, that that's just Cole. Uh, I feel like not Cole, but Hawk's character this year. There's so much they can they can do with him, and I'm so excited to see what they could do with him in season four, knowing what happens in season three. Yeah, spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, and then so it, the episode ends off with um, Miyagi Do coming. In, uh, coming to, uh, Sam's house, and they're like, hey, we, Cobra Kai beat up, um, beat up, I can't remember the kid's name, and they took all the money, and he just pops out from behind, and like, yeah, they kicked my ass, he's all bloody and shit, so then Sam has to take it upon herself to, uh, bring back Miyagi-Do, because Cobra Kai needs to be stopped, the, uh, John Kreese is doing this whole thing where, you know, he's creating like, uh, he's creating like thugs, you know, it's not, it's no longer about, uh, 
about karate. He's creating thugs and criminals, so uh, Sam needs to figure out how to stop this. So with her dad off to Japan, um, it's time to bring back, Mi- uh, bring back Miyagi-Do and show them who uh, owns the school, and they can't be pushed around like that anymore, and that's how it ends up. Uh, we get to see a little fun scene at... Uh, at Miyagi's little uh, house, and uh, Dimitri is full on. He's ready. He's ready to take back, ho- uh, take on Hawk, and fight again. So it's um, it's really cool to see that you know they're not backing down, and everything's everything that uh, Johnny's trying to do for Miguel, and ev- everybody's trying to help Miguel out. But you know Miguel's spirit is just not there, knowing uh, the possibility that he may not walk again. But it goes into this whole teaser, and then we see. Um, we see Daniel in Japan. So next review, we're going to be talking about Okinawa and probably one of the most talked about uh, episodes of this season. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys like this, be sure to like uh, like this video, comment on what your favorite scene is this season. Um, be sure to uh, uh, subscribe to the channel because uh, the more subscribers we get, the more content we can bring to you. Um, if you guys really like Cobra Kai, we could keep doing reviews, maybe do some in-depth features on it. So let us know in the comments below about that. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, remember to scri- subscribe to the Illuminati because we are always watching.